Okay, this is cleaning the sine wave off of a nine inverter generator part three. This is my setup now. I've got this old utility box that I had on my old Ford F-250. Okay, as you can see, I've drilled several holes into this for ventilation and I've got that little tiny ventilation, four inch ventilation fan to help keep things cool. I may go to a bigger one down the road, okay? Bolt it into place. Here is my 12 volts power supply, but power coming in yellow cord into my line conditioner, 1800 watts, coming off that into my power supply, the power max, into the battery. All of this is tied down and then into the inverter, coming off the inverter, and right now, follow this orange cord here. I've got it hanging off the wall, and I've got those lights plugged in from here, and these two fans. First thing I'm gonna do is fire this stuff up strictly on the battery. I also hooked up just to show you here, I also hooked the remote up right there. Okay, power on there. So now I'm running strictly off the battery. Okay, there's the two fans. I'm not drawing, I'm probably drawing pretty close to what I was on part two with my uh, all my uh, sensitive equipment. But that is strictly battery power. I probably, with what I'm drawing here, could get about six hours off that battery, maybe double. I'm not sure. So that battery is about 109 uh, amp hours. Okay. The box is set up so I can close it down. Like so. And that basically hides everything. I had to drill the locket. I lost the key for it. And now I'm going to turn on the fan was hooked into that part there. I may change that. But now you can see and here the fan is running. So here's the system. Now I'm not running off my generator right now. I'm running off the house current. That's not the point of this part three. But normally this yellow cord here, power would be coming off of that. Now what I did here is I drilled my holes and the thing I didn't want those rough holes cut in my cords so I had to get a little creative with how I did this and what I wound up doing is I used inch and a half EMT conduit ends, threaded ends on the inside and then I used two inch to inch and a half threaded PVC reducers I was able to thread them on and then back them out tight. That way I've got a smooth transition into the power box. I'm not going to be cutting cords. Down the road I am probably going to put a uh, box on here so I'm not having to run cords everywhere. But that's down the road. But right now this is functional. And that's part three. This is basically my final setup. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you watching. Thank you. One last thing for those of you who are going to freak out. Okay. Take note. The aluminum box is grounded. I've got my green ground wire, which I think I'm going to wind up shortening up. I've got that into this thing. It is grounded right here. Okay. So everything in here, again, is grounded. Wanted to make that little point there and uh, again thank you for your and one last thing I keep forgetting things if you look in here you'll see the screws in each corner those are casters there was no way I was going to try and move this especially with that battery in there without having it on casters so for ease of motion I've got the entire box on casters so I can move it around easily and because I've got the battery kind of sort of centrally located, if I do need to pick it up, it isn't 
too hard to pick up. Again, thank you for your time.